right, Tom Trento and Susie Gold here. Behind the scenes, filming for our new production of Israel Showcased. Wait a minute. Did you say behind the scenes? Behind the scenes. Well, we went out on Delray Beach to Atlantic Avenue. And what we did is we wanted to speak with people about what they knew or they didn't know about Israel. I think... I think she likes accosting these people on the street. I love talking to people, and they actually were very eager to speak with us as well. All right, let's go check out exactly what happened with Susie Gold and her team on Delray Beach in the great state of Florida. All right, Susie, we're at the Wall of the West. What do you have for us today? So we spoke to some women and some men, locals and tourists, and we got some very interesting responses to our questions that we would love for you to hear. Let's do it. Do you know where Israel is located in the world? Yes. Okay, where? Europe. In Europe. Okay. And um, can you, if I show you a map, do you think you'd be able to point to where Israel is? Susie, how do you keep a straight face through some of this stuff? It's very difficult. But the people were very nice to talk to, but they didn't know a lot of information. Let's look at the next one. There was a recent war. Do you know who it was who was the culprit of that war? Who started the war um, in the Middle East? Was it... Damn, I think it was Pakistan? I don't know. So, Tom, what do you think so far? Uh, it, it's fascinating stuff. and I, I was on the team with you there and uh, on the sidelines watching, and it, it breaks your heart, some of these responses, but it's understandable. Um, but it shouldn't be understandable for Israel because Israel is such a significant country stabilizing the Middle East and a, a partner with the United States. I want to see the rest of this. Three months ago that uh, Israel was in a war. Do you know who started the war? No, I know Israel's... There's, there's, there's aggressiveness on both sides, on all sides. Okay. Violence on both sides. And peace isn't profitable. There's no money in peace. And then the people that are making the weapons and the, and the Cheneys and all the, the warmongers, they get paid by people dying and bloodshed. Money for all these weapons that people could just live in peace. So What do you think the solution is over there? The solution? What do you think the solution is? People need there? to mind their own business. Same with this country. No, I'm like talking about between the, Israel and Palestine. What do you think the solution is? There should is be there? equitable agreement that so people can live in peace and not have rockets and babies being killed and blood, innocent lives being, being lost over politics and over money and over greed. If, if one party, I'm not saying whatever party it is, if one party wants to uh, start a fight, is the other party... Party, they, party like a Republican Democrat or a party over there? No, just anything. I mean, let's say let's say a guy comes up to you, all right, and he takes a swing at you. Are so you allowed to, to defend yourself? Hell yeah. Yes. So what happens if well, you should people, go to jail because I pay taxes? So if someone launches a rocket at somebody, are they allowed to defend themselves? In an equal measured way, you don't get to if they, shoot, if they shoot a bottle rocket over there, or you don't get to show mortars that the United States taxpayers paid for weapons to go kill. And I don't I don't have any skin in the game. I okay. just think if there's babies dying and there's innocent lives being being lost, that's wrong, no matter what your creed or whatever it is. So Israel, and I think a lot of Israelis are probably would agree. People want to be in peace. Come to some kind of, we're in 2021, they should come to the table, figure out how to live, not like, I would, I would say animals, but animals are a lot kinder than people. Okay. So li live in, in a more evolved way of thinking. Instead okay. of- I do agree with you in the arms thing. There is an arms race. Don't kill people. And, and, and the ones that are paying for it, and the, and, the, and the pharmaceutical companies that are getting money and funneling in politics, they need to be checked out. Okay. Thank Whoa, that guy got a little testy there, didn't he? Yes, he did. He's very passionate and he was very angry. But you know what? Something that I found in talking with many people is that they may feel emotional, but they need to couple that with knowledge. And I found that there was a tremendous lack of knowledge that they were drawing conclusions from. Yeah, you're 100% you're right. And it's for lack of knowledge, as Hosea, the prophet, says in the Bible, that, uh, that my people are destroyed. 
Uh, look, folks, if uh, people don't have the knowledge, there's problems. And they don't have the proper knowledge about Israel. That's what our show is about, uh, to provide proper, truthful information about the great state of Israel. What do you think? Good goal? I think it's a great goal. I think what we've done is we have defined what the problem is, and that is lack of knowledge. And what we are setting out to do is make sure people are educated so when they draw conclusions and they make decisions, they can make educated ones. Do you by any chance have any more behind the scene man on the streets? We're going to keep going okay. outside and we're going to keep talking to people. We're going to come talk to you. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm.